and welcome back to some more Let's Play CSI Crime Scene Investigation. We're going to continue looking around this guy's house because he owns a website what has chat about murder. We can't use that here. Okay, well, what do you want me to do with them then? There's no prints here. Didn't think there would be. There's nothing special there. Didn't think there would be. I'm just gonna go then, I guess. Just the fact that we know they exist is apparently enough. Damn. Sutherland again. Sicko was at the crime scene before we went back and found the murder weapon. Jesus. Posting some pictures of this master crime for you all to learn from. Notice the brilliance in the mimicry of the late Deschamps case down to the murder weapon. This guy, man. This guy. We have to find this fucker. Like, it's just it's just weird now, you know? Um talk to me. Or don't. Just stand and stare. Works for me. That's cool. Uh I think I got his IP address, as a matter of fact. Yeah, look at that. Right. Well, that should be enough for me, because I got everything I need. Go to this case is starting to leak out to the news thanks to our friends at CrimeChat.com. Tell me you got something good. I do. What can we do with Sutherland's unique IP address? We can track the computer he posted from. Computer Lab UNLV, Classroom Building Complex, where they teach criminal justice. Hmm. He's hoping we'll be teaching some creep a class in that real soon. Hey, hey. Excellent. Does Jack Riley have any kind of connection with this university? Let's ask the magic screen. <laughs> oh yeah. Graduate. Ten years back. Criminal justice major. Mm. Interesting. I, I can't help no, you until I was, you find some solid evidence. I clicked the wrong one. I was just there. Never mind. The morgue's not going to help anymore, is it? There isn't much more I can tell you about the victim at this time. There's pretty much going to be nothing that he can say at all anymore. So, what, whatevs. Hey guys, what's up? You know, the usual. I'm gonna see if I can get some, uh, fingerprint data from this. Unlikely, but you know. Okay, fair enough. Uh, whoop. Never mind. Whoop. Hey, hey. Um. No, I think I'm done here. I'm gonna go straight to the UNLV Computer Laboratory. Professor Franklin? Is that you? Nick? Nick Stokes? <laughs> well, look at you. I'd ask how you are, but that's obvious. I thought you were still at Rice, sir. I didn't know you were at UNLV. Class is out, Nick. You don't have to call me, sir. Uh, department here had an opening in theory reconstruction. How could I refuse? Well, you wrote the book. Literally. You'd be a boon to any faculty. Very kind of you to say, Nick. Especially since you're not fishing for a grade. This time. And I understood you to be working in Dallas. CSI level one. Problems? No, no, I could have stayed. But it was time for a change. You know. And the chance to work with Gil Grissom. And to get out of the shadow of a certain Supreme Court justice also named Stokes? Maybe just a little. Have to envy you, my boy. Working in the field, solving real crimes. <laughs> Not some premature fossil working the academia beat for 25 years. Decent <laughs> CSIs aren't that hard to come by. Now, great teachers, that's a rarity. You do my self-esteem a world of good, Nick. But that's not why you drop by, is it? I wish. Thing is, we have a cop killing. And believe it or not, there's a link to the university. You could help by answering a few questions. You know what? I'm gonna ask you some questions, mate. Is that alright? You seem cool. Whatever. Uh, which computer is linked to this IP address? This one, right here. Okay. Who used this computer recently? Earlier in the day, I, I couldn't say, but I just met with a student, John Laskin, going over some coursework. And uh, he was on that machine. Not, not to tell you how to do your work, but dusting for prints would be rather pointless. With all the traffic in here. Hmm. Okay. What was his area of research? Blaskin has been digging into various unsolved crimes. A promising student, bright, doing well in my course. Hmm. Where can we find him? I believe he lives on campus. Surely your department has access to the university's housing database. 
Tracking him down should be child's play. Who has access to this computer lab? Every lab on this floor is strictly for criminal justice students. And the computer lab is reserved for grad school level only. Hmm. Ever heard about the Jeffrey Deschamps case? A little surprised you'd have to ask that question. That was my first big success. I wrote the book about that great unsolved case. Do you need my help? What kind of access do you have to the computer lab? If you need to get in for further investigation, I can help. I have keys to the lab and the building itself. 24-hour access. Actually, that would be very helpful. Thank you. Um... Ooh. Somebody's not so good at cleaning up after themselves. But more importantly, we've now found the same brand of soda in both the computer lab and Riley's apartment. Well, maybe it's a popular brand. You never know. I'm here with my Coca-Cola Zero, and I can't be the only person in the entirety of the area I live to drink Coca-Cola Zero. Especially when it's on sale It might be hard Tesco. to get good prints from a can, but it's worth a shot. Yeah, I guess. We can't use that here. Never mind, then. Uh, do 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 Uh... That honestly seems to be it for now. I can't tell you anything else at this moment. Okay. Yeah, seems to be everything I can do here, which is disappointing. Uh, we'll go back to the lab and we'll compare the two. Uh, hey guys, prints what's up? That we found. He. <laughs> uh, bang bang. Compare. Are they the same? Are they different? Okay. Uh, I want to. I want to take them all back. Just search that one. Christ. Okay. Getting absolutely fucking nowhere. Uh, what is? What is this to you? It helped me. Cotton. Red dye present, but faded. Got another sample I can compare it to? No, I don't. But I will look for one. Uh, because you are a cool guy. That's not the only reason why, but it's one of them. Hang on a second, I'll be right back. No, oh, yeah, it was nothing. Never mind. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go back to Jack Riley's home, see if I can... Uh, do you have access to the university's facilities? Well, sure. Anybody with an alumni card does. I mean, I got library privileges and stuff. Well, it's nice getting something out of going to college. All right, I'm going to tell you what happened. All you have to do is nod when I'm finished. You have an interest in forensics and started this chat room. Of course, you're hip that posting things from your own computer, well, that'd be easy to track. You want to post something anonymously, you go to another one, say, a computer on campus. You know your way around there, blend in easy enough, pick a machine away from any others in use, and get off on posting photos of crimes, like the murder you just committed. No, I don't think it was him. Are you high? I didn't kill that cop. You can't think that I'd do something like that. I'm into solving crimes, not committing them. Maybe you wanted to go up against the big boys. Oh, please. Give me a break. I didn't kill anybody. Right? I would never kill anybody. Those Sutherland postings, those aren't mine. Really? Don't you have access to the college computer lab? No. My alumni card doesn't take me that far. I would need a computer account. It's extra. Check it out, you'll see. Quick guessing. Stick to the facts. That's what CSIs do, right? Cracking a simple university login. That's what hackers do, right? You're a computer guy. By the way, don't leave town. You're still a suspect. <laughs> Fair enough. What's your involvement with the university? I'm a grad. Starts and ends there. Okay. And what have we learned at the university? Can we check out John Laskin, student at UNLV? No problem. Mr. Laskin is a criminal justice grad student. No publications. Lives on campus. He does indeed. Can we bring him in for an interrogation? Oh yeah, we'll enroll him in my class. Now this is something. You know, studying this stuff is one thing. Books, abstract theory, famous cases. But this? A real interrogation room? Real CSIs. 
Real murder. You want to help? Absolutely. Interrogate away. Okay. Have you changed your clothes recently? No. Why? You find threads or something? As a matter of fact, I did. Would you mind if I took a thread sample of your sweater? Well, sure. No prob, but just be careful. I'm just a guy scratching by in a partial scholarship. Don't have much of a clothes budget. <laughs> no, yeah, fair enough. Uh, boop. There we go. No worries. I was careful. I was careful. You familiar with CrimeChat.com? I log on now and then, but like any chat room, it's just people BSing. I got mounds of coursework. Plus, I'm a TA. You know, supervising labs. Not much free time. You supervise the lab, the computer lab. Hmm. Where were you during the cr the time of the murder? Monitoring a midterm. Intro to corrections, 30 undergrads. Hey, does this mean I'm a suspect? Cool. I, I mean, since I didn't do it, cool. This is like field research. Look at it however you want, man. What is the focus of your research? Hey, it sounds dry, but it's fascinating stuff. A longitudinal study of criminal investigators and pathologists who've worked long-term on unsolved cases. Does your research include the Deschamps case? Oh yeah, that's a classic. Unsolved for 30 years, you know. Can't imagine chasing a case for that long. Me either. That's why I haven't... Hey, this was great. Real honor. You find that killer. Drown that sucker in evidence. Oh my god, this guy. This guy, man. Okay. I can't help you until you find some solid evidence. Okay, never mind then. We're gonna compare the threads. I suppose. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, not much, not much at all. I really don't think it was him. Similar, but not exactly the same. Greg's opinion's what we should trust. Fair enough. I don't actually think it was him. He seems too chilled about it. Using the microspectral photometer, what? we get a fiber match on your red thread, but not a color match. Similar sweater, though. Probably an older one. Okay. Email from Brass. Sutherland is chatting again. Every cop in town's heading over to UNLV to try and catch him in the act. Including you guys. Go already. Oh. Thought I was gonna talk with him. Nope. Okay. Never mind. Let's, uh, get over there. Damn. Well, he was here. We're here now. So let's process this place like a crime scene. Good nut. Uh, what are you doing? Oof. It's strange. Uh, ha! Ah! Like the Laskin kids. But older. Let's process this baby for evidence and get it over to Greg. This is gonna be the one. Little white flakes. Oh. Probably danger from the owner. Didn't even notice. We can't use that here. Oh, it's um it's this. We can't use that here. Really? Have I gotta zoom in more? Okay. And now we can use this. Yeah. Take the dandruff, see if that does anything. Can I We can't use that here. Nope, can't get a thread. Okie doke, just pick it up. Just take the whole thing! Fuck it! Um, that's where that would have been, but I've already got that, so never mind. There's the Coke can, which does nothing. Uh, ooh, ooh! Oh, nope, that's that. I thought something on the desk had tweaked. But, guess not. Um... To be honest, I think the only reason this was a thing was because of that bloody jacket. So, never mind. We'll go back to Greg and see if he can help us with our evidence. Hey, guys. What's up? You know, the more you ask me that, the more I don't know how to respond. I'll warm up the thermocycler to amplify the DNA on this dandruff flake. But I need some suspect samples for comparison. Okay, so how many suspects have dandruff? Uh, um... Who do do the thing with this? Now this sample does match the thread on the tire iron. Find the guy who used to be inside the sweater. You got yourself a link to the crime scene. Hmm. That's why we need to do the um the the dandruff. So we'll go back to brass, can we? Yes. Can we get a warrant to get a sample from Professor yeah. Franklin? Just because this guy was Nick's teacher doesn't give him a pass. Go back out to that school and see what his DNA teaches us. Excellent. Can we do the same thing for Jack Riley? We got plenty on him for a warrant. Go to his place and get your sample. Fantastic. Can we do one for John Las Las Laskin? Laskin's alibi checked out. He was supervising an exam. 
cross this guy off the suspect list. Okay. Never mind then. Yep, yeah, done. Proved uh, you. I knew it. I knew it about you. Let's uh, get Jack Riley's shit. We have a warrant to take so a DNA sample. So it's not sample. enough you make me aid and abet you guys invading my website visitor's privacy. You gotta invade the inside of my mouth too? Uh, yep. Any other indignities while you're at it? Full cavity search maybe? You got the gloves for it. Yo, you cheeky fuck. Okay. You. Where, where, where were you when the crime was being committed? Well, in my office. Marking some papers. Can anyone substantiate that? A teaching assistant, maybe? A fellow professor that dropped by? No. I go to my office at that hour specifically for solitude. I was quite alone. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what do you know of the Garvey killing? Just what I read in the news. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Reporters asking me to comment due to my expertise with the Deschamps case. Is that why you're here? Nope, we just want to solve it. We'd like to take a DNA sample of you for analysis. For what reason? Surely I'm not a suspect in your investigation. Yeah. You know how it is, sir. Just covering the bases. We're back to sir, are we? And what if I said you need a warrant to perform that affront? I'd Ooh. say we do have a warrant. Well, I was just making sure you weren't getting sloppy, Nick. You know, taking advantage of our... <sighs> anyway, go right ahead. You're a bit defensive. Oh, we're learning a lot about you, mate. Oh, it's gonna be interesting to get the sample back to Greg. Hey guys, what's up? You keep asking me that. Not much is the same. Do Jack's first. I compared Riley's DNA to the dandruff flake. That flake is not your guy. <laughs> you called him a flake. That's funny. Ha! <laughs> uh, do the professor. The professor's DNA markers match the dandruff sample. Oh. Looks like the next class Franklin teaches is going to be high school equivalency to the other inmates. Oh, shit. Oh, my lord. Where is he? Fucking. I can't tell you anything else at this moment. Yeah, okay, no, yeah, don't worry about it. That's fine with me. What about you, Jack? I don't have anything else to tell you right now. That's fine. I'm just covering, make sure I get 100%. I can tell you about the victim. That's fine. I just want 100%. Yes. Okay. Dude, can we get an, a, an arrest warrant for Franklin? The prof's DNA matches the dandruff on the sweater. Sweater fiber matches the thread snagged on the tire iron. No more plan hooky from justice for this creep. Let's get him. Oh, yeah. Finally, I'm being asked to consult on this case, being the expert and all. Frankly, I'd expected you to call sooner, but I'm happy to help you now. Sure. Consult with us on this cop killing. Consider the evidence. Which all points in your direction, Professor. Is this your red sweater? I believe that's mine. Getting a little long in the tooth, but then who among us isn't? Throw it away if you like. We'll bag it instead. Whatever for. What do you think? Tell us about your earlier research on the Jeffrey Deschamps, Deschamps case. Ah, the Deschamps case. A true classic in the annals of unsolved crimes. I'm the great expert on the case, and even I couldn't come up with a solution. Not a single worthwhile clue is found. The proverbial perfect crime. Why was there a fiber from your sweater found at the crime scene? Oh, certainly not. No fiber was found at the Deschamps crime scene. Not at the Deschamps crime scene, but at the Garby crime scene, sir, there was. On the tire iron. Young man, you don't need to call me sir. I appreciate the respect, but we're professionals here. Feel free to call me Edwin. Edwin? As in Edwin Sutherland? You must be new in the field if you don't recognize me, young man. Edwin Sutherland, the most acclaimed criminologist of all time. But then, aren't you a student of that pathetic, isolated old academic? That miserable failure, Professor Franklin? What? Oh, can you tell us about the Garvey murder? Oh, this officer who was killed recently. You'd like me to consult on the case? I must admit I've been giving it some thought. Why don't you share those thoughts with us, Professor? Sutherland? Glad to, young man. You see, this homicide is quite similar to the classic Deschamps killing. 
And I must admit, your mentor, Professor Franklin, did some respectable research on that case. For a man of such average capabilities and limited intellect. Or did he? You see, your perpetrator was recreating the Deschamps murder, undoubtedly. The killer would have faked a flat tire and waited for help to come. It would only take a few minutes. Even in this tawdry day and age, the police serve and protect. The killer would have allowed the officer to draw close in order to take a good hard swing at him. But apparently he didn't notice a tiny thread snagging on the tire iron, the incriminating clue. When he was down, he finished him with a couple of quick rounds to the chest. Fast, relatively painless. Holy shit! The clues from the Deschamps case, of course, had to be replicated. The killer left a bit of blood near the body, crudely symbolic pig's blood. Gun under the car, few pages off the notepad. I made sure this was clear by publishing my findings on that quaint crimechat.com. But one must wonder how he would have so intimately known the details surrounding the original crime. Could he have been responsible for both? Holy shit. This guy's fucking schizophrenic. Oh my god. I did not see that one coming. Wow. Uh, can we speak to Professor Franklin again, please? Nick? Nick? Seeing you, it's... It's like seeing my own ghost. My own long-lost conscience. Something you want to get off your chest, Professor? I... I just can't live with it anymore. My entire career, built on one great lie. I was just starting out, wanting to make a name for myself, but... You must understand. It was theoretical. What was, Professor? Killing that officer. Garvey? Deschamps. I wanted to see a crime from the inside out. I suppose every criminalist ponders the perfect crime. It was motiveless. Or at least the motive was so obscure that... Anyway, I did it. All those years ago. You killed Officer Deschamps and built your reputation as an expert on a crime you committed yourself. And now you've done it again. What, try and recapture some of that old glory? Yes. Yes. Nick, please. I couldn't help myself. Please, do something. Make sure I never do anything like this again. Help me. Professor, we'll see what we can do. I just reviewed the notes on your last case. Franklin apparently was racked with guilt and the Sutherland sub-personality evolved to help resolve it. But it was your skills that bridged their gap and exposed Franklin for who he really was. Good job. Now let's evaluate your performance for this case. Oh, come on! Jesus Christ! Oh, man. That was really good. Really clever, actually. Um... Yeah, wow. That was a pretty good twist. So, um, case four is more fun than a barrel of corpses, allegedly, so join me in the next excitingly mediocre Let's Play part of Let's Play CSI Crime Scene Investigation. I'll see you next time. Bye!